Two ways to look at IAM. One is it's, it makes up a third of the overall IT risk surface. The other way to look at it is it's the foundation for everything. If you don't know who walks through your door, if you don't know who logs into your server, who accesses your data, it doesn't matter whether you have your, the right patch level uh, installed on your service. That's really the, the foundation for everything. Without it, you will fail on your all, overall cyber strategy. If you have a security team and you're the, the business and the IT organization does what they think is right, they follow their strategy and they tell the security guys, make it secure, that might not work in, in the end. You need to bring in their view uh, when you execute your strategy and maybe that might mean not working with a certain partner, not going to a certain cloud provider or not doing certain business in in the cloud. So you have to bring in the security aspects in the everyday work of the company. It's the, the foundation for, for all other controls. If you have, let's say, approvals for, for DLP controls or whatever, if you don't know who's who's trying to uh, take this data outside your organization. You cannot really uh, control that. Uh, one is the, the people. That's actually quite, quite easy. You, you know uh, the people who work for you, and then the further away they are from, from your core organization, the more fuzzy and vague it gets. We, we mentioned uh, third parties. Uh, the other side is the infrastructure. What data do you have? And uh, in the end, it's about bringing these together, functionality, but also data and, and people. Who is allowed to access what data? And uh, just the data alone, what data do you have? Uh, who owns this data? What criticality does this data have? That is quite a challenge, and especially when you look at where is this data stored. We have been focusing on the business applications over the last 20 years itself. That's just the, the top layer. But when we look at the infrastructure, which servers are working on for these applications, which databases store these, which file systems store the data, log files, where are the logs stored, uh, and then we have the push to the cloud environment, which makes this space even more complicated. Uh, bringing all this together, this this end-to-end -end stack of the application, including cloud, including log files, everything, um, that is typically not understood. 